if planes crashed at the rate that schools are crashing uh, at, there would be a national crisis. And yet our schools range often from abysmal to mediocre, and a very small number are very good. I want to hear candidates talking about that crisis. In terms of solutions, I think that we need to support alternatives. Uh, that could be charter schools, but it could also be um, teacher training programs. The way we're training teachers is not preparing our kids for the 21st century. We have to have a level of content mastery. So if you want students to master math, you know who has to master the math? The teacher. teacher. And if we have teachers who've been not been trained in rich, deep mathematics, they're not going to be able to train the next generation yeah. of students. So we need to rethink teacher training. We need to rethink principal training, superintendent training. I would like to hear candidates who have a vision about how to reimagine public education. Do you know which candidate you'll support already? I don't. No. You I know don't. You're likely to? I don't. I am waiting to hear. Wait. I, I've become very single issue yeah. in my old age. Uh, I care about world peace and I care about the environment. Uh, well, but, obviously you're a Democrat. Do you feel that there's sort of a hypocrisy within the Democratic Party because they say they're doing the best thing for low-income parents and yet they're also uh, typically supported by the teachers' unions? Well, I, I, I am a Democrat and it is confusing sometimes to me because I, I was brought up, you know, I'm from an FDR Democratic family. I was brought up to think that the Democratic Party was for the little guy. And it often turns out that the Democratic Party is for the special interests. Um, but you see splits now in the Democratic Party. We have one going on right in New York State where Governor Cuomo um, is much more of an ed reformer than Mayor Bill de Blasio. And so I think there's more diversity in the Democratic Party than there was certainly five, ten years ago. All right. And just final question. What do you think of the SATs? Well, I know them from personal experience because I have a senior, uh, my oldest son is a senior, and uh, I'm preparing many thousands of kids to take the PSAT. Is it a worthwhile assessment to get into undergrad? I think it is. I think it is. I mean, I think that the things that are being required on the SATs, uh, kids should be able to do. Now, that doesn't mean I want it to affect the entire curriculum. You would not spend four years of high school just to master that test. Kids need to be able to do both. They need to be able to write papers and think deeply about history and mathematics, and they need to be able to ace standardized tests. And I think it's not perfect, uh, and it's moving in 2016 towards the Common Core. I think that's a good thing. Um, but I think it's a, it's a competent test. I think it's a good test.